welcome to Jogpore, <laughs> also known as the Blue City, and also known as the Sun City, and you can see why. It's okay. absolutely roasting today. Roasting. But actually, truth be told, we've had a pretty grim week so far. Uh, up until yesterday, we were feeling so unwell with like some kind of seasonal flu. So if you're wondering, did we go to Jaipur? We did. We just didn't do anything in Jaipur other than sit on desk door. But yeah, we're here in Jaipur and we're super excited to see what it's got to offer. It's so beautiful from what we've already seen. And we've got something really exciting later planned, haven't we? Yeah. Oh. We're going to see Moranga Fort yes. from a very unique perspective. <laughs> Let's say that. Yeah. So there seems to be step wells in pretty much every city in India, but we haven't actually visited one yet. And I think they're like a water harvesting system built by royal families. Uh, but they've got a very unique design. We'll show you what it looks like anyway. We're about to see our first one, so it should be cool. but I didn't expect this whole wall face to have all these designs on it. And the reflection of the sun coming off the water is just making everything look really nice. So the way we found this was actually through a video of people doing like jumps from the very top. Some people really do jump right off the top of there into it, so it must be really deep. It's a well, so it's definitely worth going to if you're in job for probably can't tell but we haven't like we're, we're still at like 90% recovered still at 10% where it's like as soon as the heat hits you as soon as you have to do like 10 minutes of physical exercise it's just draining We're just walking through this really narrow street and there's just murals painted all along the walls. They're so colourful and really nice to look at and walk around. And the locals are lovely, everyone says hello. <laughs> Actually, a local that told us about this um, staircase, we not almost walked past it and uh, a lady came out of her house and she was like, go this way, there's a really beautiful view of the Blue City. A lot of Indian cities have something about them that sets them apart, so Jaipur is the pink city, Jodhpur is the blue city, Jaisalmer, Jai um, the desert city, no, it it the, the golden city, city and Udaipur is the city of lakes. Mm. So every time you go to a new Indian city you've got something new to look forward to. Yeah. So apparently there's a few different reasons as to why this city is painted blue. One of them being that it repels bugs. The second one being that it keeps the houses cool. So apparently some of the locals actually paint the outside and then the inside blue. And it just helps keep the temperature down during the scorching hot summers that they have. 
And another one is, of course, the colour blue is associated with Lord Shiva, so it's deemed to be a sacred colour. And the last one is just that some people obviously believe the colour blue is very soothing, very calming, so take which one you want. You might just like the colour blue. Maybe someone painted the house blue and everyone else painted. I like that. <laughs> yeah, it's a trend. I'm do the same. <laughs> yeah. Picking up pace there, scaring me a little bit. Okay, so we're just making our way up to the fort, which I could probably say is like the star of Jodhpur. It dominates the city, especially when you're down by the clock tower and you just look up and see the fort. It is incredible, so looking forward to seeing it up close and seeing it from above. Yeah. <laughs> We've walked through a couple of these gates, but apparently they were built during the Mughal Empire to protect the fort. Look at the side of these spikes. <laughs> like, hand for scale. <laughs> they go straight through you. So the secret's out, we're doing the zip line over the fort. So the company's called Flying Fox and they've got a few different zip lines all over the world I think. And this is one of them. I think it's going to be a unique way to see the fort. It's a nice time of day to do it as well, it's not too hot. And it's not like the cheapest thing to do in Jaipur, but we didn't really spend a lot in Jaipur for being unwell, so why not just yeah. have a bit of fun, splash out. And... Neither of us have done a zip line before, so it's a new experience for both of us. Yeah, excited. It's just unreal, the views. <laughs> by the way, what does everyone think of Jamie with his cap backwards? They asked me to do this, by the way. <laughs> American dad. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> Not my shoe. <laughs> the worst thing about it is how tight the harness is. Yeah, we're not going to put the camera down. The crown jewels getting absolutely crunched. <laughs> Line number four. <laughs> it's really good, but as Jamie was just saying, it, it does hurt your hand on the longer ones. It's not as scary as I first thought it'd be. It's really fun, and the views so worth the cost of the ticket. Yeah. To do the last one. Yep. Zip line six. And then we need to get something to drink because it's so hot.
That was so fun. Yeah. If you come to Job Hall, you have to do this. Yeah. <laughs> also happy I can now put my cap on the right way. <laughs> but yeah, that's probably the most fun we've had in ages. I guess the plan now is just head back and get some dinner, eat some food, and then we've got a very early start tomorrow. We're getting a bus to Udai mm -hmm. which is picking us up at half five. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we need to get an early night. Yeah. How sweaty I am. So apparently, is that too low? That's a bit too low, isn't it? A bit too low, Hannah. Okay. <laughs> Hello. 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 Namaste. Okay.